Meanwhile, in Russia, Moscow authorities have announced plans to shut restaurants, movie theaters and many retail stores for 11 days starting October 28th as Russia registered the highest daily number of COVID infections and deaths since the pandemic began. The Government Coronavirus Task Force reported 36,339 new confirmed infections and 1,036 deaths in the past 24 hours. That brought Russia's death toll to 227,389, by far the highest in Europe. Schools and kindergartens will also be closed during that period, and most state organizations and private businesses will halt work. Restaurants and cafes will be limited to takeout or delivery orders during that period, although food stores and pharmacies can stay open. Ahead of the new restrictions, a spike in plane ticket sales has been noted, leading chairwoman of Federation Council of Russia, Valentina Matvienko, to advise against people seeing the period as additional vacation. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson on Thursday said that the government was sticking with its winter COVID-19 plan despite the high number of infections. That's right. Johnson added the number were within the parameters forecast by scientists advising the UK government. He urged almost 80 percent of people over 12 and over in the UK have received two vaccine doses and millions are being offered a booster shot, including everyone over 50. Better position going into the autumn, the winter now than we were 12 months ago. It, incomparably better because of the huge level of uh, protection that we got from the vaccines. 90% of the, of the adult population has antibodies right now. But we must fortify ourselves further. Uh, the numbers are high. We can see what's, uh, what's happening. We can see the, the increase. Now is the time to get those booster jabs okay. and also to vaccinate uh, the 12 to 15 year olds uh, as well. A government advisory panel has endorsed extra doses of all three of the nation's vaccines. Advisors to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention also said on Thursday that people could choose a different company's brand for that next shot. Certain people who received Pfizer vaccinations months ago already are eligible for a booster. The advisor said certain Moderna and Johnson & Johnson recipients should qualify too. About two-thirds of Americans eligible for COVID-19 shots are fully vaccinated. And the government says getting first shots to the unvaccinate, unvaccinated remain the priority. While health authorities hope boosters will shore up waning immunity against milder coronavirus infections, all the vaccines still offer strong protection against hospitalizations and death.